following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good morning. How are you? My name is Ron Chuckett. Welcome to the program for this 13th day of October 21. We go back to week five. We're at the Meadowlands or Giant Stadium for the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Giants. The 49ers, remember, pasted the Atlanta Falcons last week on this channel. And Joe Montana, the best quarterback in the NFL at this juncture, uh, hopes to continue that against the tough giant defense. The NFC East is pretty much anybody's guess. Everybody has a chance to win it. For the Giants, they are 3-2. and two. No clear advantage for anybody in that division. The Giants would like to upset the 49ers. San Francisco is favored by two by the computer. So we expect this one to be close. Or San Francisco to win by 28 or whatever. So these two rivals played some great games in the 80s. And I'm sure this one will hopefully be, hopefully be at least decent. It's the Niners and the Giants. Next. As Retro Sports Network presents NFL Replay 84 from... Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands. It is an NFC battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Giants. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. And so, it is a beautiful day here in the Swamp, in East Rutherford, as these two top-level teams meet in what undoubtedly would have been the primary game on the Columbia Broadcasting System. The Giants are 3-2, and two, as I look at San Francisco and get confused with baseball. New York, 3-2. and two. Rob Carpenter. Has 450 yards. Phil Simms is having a fantastic year. He's got two good receivers and Zeke Mowat as tight end. And, of course, the defense, it is what it is. Lawrence Taylor with three sacks the first five weeks of the year. San Francisco, you saw him last week. You watched Joe Montana go 24 for 24. They just do everything right, and their defense gets better by the week. So the Giants win the toss. They will get the football. McConkie back deep. The Giants going from right to left. Wolfuk and Cephas are the up man. McConkie stands on his seven. Ray Wershing, one yard deep in the end zone. McConkie near sideline, 10 and... Mr. Parcells will not be happy as Cleo Montgomery brings him down at the 14, a gain of 15. Injury trouble for the Niners. We'll get to that in a moment. Phil Sims, the quarterback for the Giants. Tony Galbraith doing a lot, both as a re receiver and a running back. Rob Carpenter. 116 carries the first five weeks of the season. Bobby Johnson is the split end. And if you have split end, ladies, I suggest you use a nicer shampoo. Ronnie Lott will cover him. Ernest Gray is the flanker, and they both have had success yardage-wise. Zeke Mowat, the tight end, 20, 19 catches already for 249 yards. Carpenter on first and ten. And it's a trap light. Right. Sims hands off. Carpenter is chased and tackled by Todd Shell for a gain of three. Second and seven. Let's meet the Giants offensive line. Brad Benson, the left tackle. Billy Yard, the left guard. Kevin Belcher is the center. Conrad Good filling in as a right guard. He's usually a Menon guy. And Carl Nelson is the right tackle. 
Second and seven for the Giants on their own 17. Galbraith in the flat, but somebody moved. Start. Offense number 16. It will be Brad Benson, the left tackle. Repeat. Second down. It'll be second and 12. Let's meet the 49ers. Dwayne Board, the left defensive end. Michael Carter, the nose tackle. And Lawrence Pillar is the right defensive end. Todd Shell filling in at left outside linebacker. Jeff Fuller is the right outside linebacker. He's had a good year. Jim Farnhorse, the right inside linebacker. And Ricky Ellison, the other inside linebacker. Ronnie Lott, the right corner. Eric Wright, the left corner. Carlton Williamson is the free safety. And Dwight Hicks is the strong safety. He's on Moat. Pullback dive for Carpenter on second and 12. Rob over the 15 to the 16. Ellison with the tackle. It'll be third and eight. Opening possession. Lionel Manuel is the third receiver with Gray and Johnson. Lionel at the bottom of your screen. Medium slant to Ernest Gray. Sims under center has time. He goes over the middle. Gray's got it. First down. Ronnie Lott with a tackle. And that's a gain of 18. First and 10. Opening drive for the Giants. From the Giant 34. Joe Morris is in the game with Rob Carpenter. And Morris will go off tackle right. Pro set gets his block, gets him over the 40. He's hit at the 42 by Williamson. And Morris has a gain of eight, second and two for the Giants. Carpenter, trap left, handoff from Sims, tries to get it, and he does. He got the Dave Gardner measurement, two yards and a first down, first and ten. From the Giant, 44. Ricky Allison with the tackle. And the Giants doing a Bill Parcells special drive, five plays so far for 30 yards. Medium hitch to Bobby Johnson. They're going to throw on first down. Sims is going to run. 45-50 in the Niner territory. And Dwight Hicks makes a tackle after a gain of 11. So the blonde bomber scrambled and he gets the first down. Butch Wolfick is in the game for Rob Carpenter. That certainly is a home field advantage measure. That's why we call it. See, if if it looks like, nope. If it looks like it's, uh, although I, there is no home field turned on, I don't think. Um, they make it and they don't get it. I call that the Al Red Sox fan measurement. If they, it looks like they're short and they get it, that's the Dave Gardner measurement. First and 10 for the Giants. From the San Francisco 45. Short slant to Zeke Moat. Sims is all day. Moat has a first down. He's inside the 30. Dwight Hicks with a tackle at the 28. And this is matriculation by Phil Sims and the New York Giants. Morris. Fullback dive. And off 25, he's hit at the 22 by Jeff Fuller. It'll be second and four. 49ers not used to playing. This would be a morning game for them. And the defense is back on their heels to start. Galbraith. Trap left. Hand off from Sims from the 22. He gets to the 19. Billy Yard. Says, I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Yeah, I think for everything but the championship, you play with home field advantage on in football. In baseball, there really isn't much home field advantage. Third down and one. Two tight end set. Galbraith will block. They go to the eye. Carpenter trap left from the 19. He waits. He gets a first down and more. Touchdown, New York. He got away from Ronnie Lott. They keep Carpenter to run. Ronnie Lott was watching him, and Billy Yard, who was hurt a moment ago, made the big block. Carpenter just rumbled away, and the Giants strike first. Here it is again. What a block. And there wasn't really anyone there except for a lot to bring him down. Ten plays, 86 yards, and it's 6-0 New York. Now, the extra point is up. The extra point by the Ali Haji Sheik is good. Nice drive by the Giants. 8-22 to go. First quarter. It's 7-0 New York. So Tony Soprano called. This is a Chamber of Commerce Day in New Jersey. Here, Monroe back deep to return. Dina Harmon or Derek Harmon and Dana McLemore, the Upman. Aji Sheik will kick it into the end zone, two yards deep. Monroe to the 10, 20. He's hit at the Holding. 25. Receiving team. There's a hold. So instead of good field position, it's Joe Montana will start from the San Francisco six. Montana has completed 68% of his passes, including everything last week, and is just having a marvel this year. Wendell Tyler, 73 carries, 277 yards. They need him to do a better job. Roger Craig has done what you would expect Roger Craig to do. He's a Swiss Army knife behind the line of scrimmage. He can catch and he can run. Dwight Clark is a flanker. Freddie Solomon, the split end. He's averaging 21 yards a catch. And Earl Cooper has done a yeoman's work as the tight end. Tyler, fullback die from the six. Gets a bit of a block. Ball is loose and picked up by New York. Harry Carson with a tackle. Wendell Tyler got three yards, and Carson just punched it out. Martin recovers, and the Giants have it first and goal from the San Francisco nine. Here it is again. Boom, 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 and there must have been a couple yards on the return. So the Giants set up first and goal. Moat on a short cross. They want a one-play drive. Sims rolls incomplete. Sims threw it out of the back of the end zone. Second and goal. Morris. He'll pitch it to the left. San Francisco jams the line of scrimmage. Pitch to Morris and Joe to the five. Touchdown, New York. It was a two-play drive. This time it was 15 seconds. But the 49ers are already behind the eight ball. It's 13 to nothing. Morris just took that pitch and matriculated for a touchdown. So the Giants... Have a hundred net yards. Haji Sheik for the extra point. That's good. And Bill Walsh is muttering to himself in Greek. 756 to go in the first quarter. And it's 14-0 New York. Monroe out of the back of the end zone. And that's a touchback. Wow. So you meant this 
That's all the uh, the skill player is for the 49ers. Let's meet the line. Keith Feinhorst, the left tackle. John Ayer is a left guard. Fred Quillen is the center. Randy Cross, smelling good, is the right guard. And Bubba Paris is the right tackle. Trap right for Roger Craig. Hand off from Montana. And that ball is loose. McGriff locked it loose. And Jim Burt recovers. The Giants now have it at the San Francisco 19. And for the they've only run two plays from scrimmage. And they've turned it over twice. I think that muttering from Bill Walsh was it in Greek. So the F F Giants are looking to go 21 nothing right now. Johnson on a medium slam. Sims rolls. He throws down to Carpenter and that's incomplete. Joe Morris, 747 to go. Off tackle right on second and 10 from the 19. Morris to the 15. Fuller with a tackle. And that's a gain of six. Yeah, 14 nothing. Giants had a good Bill Parcells opening drive to make it 7 nothing. San Francisco fumbled on their first play of scrimmage. The Giants scored two plays later. San Francisco fumbled it again on their first play from scrimmage. And the Giants already... With not even half the quarter gone, have it th the th for the third time and have third and four. Moat. Medium slant to the tight end. Sims waits, throws. Moat, no, it was a th high throw. And Ali Haji Sheik, I think, will come out for the kick. Yep. Six and ten chance. This would be from 30 yards. Giants have the wind behind them. And remember, he's his own holder. So the sheet, that is good. And with 6.55 to go in the first quarter, it is the Giants 17, the Niners nothing. You don't think the Rams are rooting for the Giants today, do you? Oh, my goodness. All right, Notre Dame Joe, we'll get you some chicken soup here in a moment. San Francisco is favored by two. They will down it at the 20. Or two yards deep. So this is the best field position Montana and company have had. But they must be playing with the official butterball turkey. Because... It's been quite greasy for him so far. George Martin recovered a fumble and produced a Paul McCartney record already. He's a left end. Jim Burt, the nose tackle. Curtis, I'm not Fred McGriff, is the right end. Carl Banks, the left outside linebacker. Harry Carson fills the middle. With Gary Reasons and Byron Hunt. No Lawrence Taylor? At least to start. Mark Haynes is the left corner. And Perry Williams is the right corner. He's on Solomon. Terry Kennard is one safety. And Kenny Hill is the other. Solomon on a medium slant. Montana to throw. Montana's going to scramble. Joe will hold on to the football. And that's a gain of two, second and eight. And it's the first time today that the 49ers have had a second down. Craig in the flat. Far side. Montana finds him. Behind the 20, Craig runs out to the 28. That's a gain of six. It'll be third and two. 
Tyler. Trap right on third down, handoff, first down. That's a gain of four. And McGriff with a stop. Lawrence Taylor is supposed to be out there. He's not hurt. Hedden is the only linebacker that's hurt. So the Giants got here. They lost to Philadelphia in opening day in a game we had here in Retro Sports Network. They beat Dallas. They went on the road and beat Washington. They beat the hapless Bucks. And last week in overtime in Los Angeles, they lost 20 to 17. Not running the ball awful well. They are throwing it just fine. Thank you very much. And the defense, not a lot of top tens except for points and completion percentage. So first and ten for the 49ers on their own 32. Solomon on a medium hitch. Montana back to throw. He finds Solomon over midfield. 40, 30, 20. Touchdown, San Francisco. 68 yards. Oh, we're going to have a fireworks show today, boys. Freddie Solomon caught that in stride and scored. Solomon caught that at midfield. He beat Perry Williams, I think, and the linebacker just could not chase him down. And so Montana has now thrown 26 straight completions and six touchdowns. What a catch by Solomon. Worshing with the extra point. It's good. And it's 17-7. to Fernie had more offense in the first 10 minutes of this one than we did all last week. McConkey back deep to return for the Giants. And Worshing booms at seven yards deep. Make sure that all of our people are in the game. So first and ten from the Giant 20. They still lead 17-7. Wolfick. Trap right. Butch across the 20. Hit by Jeff Fuller at the 21. What a start. What a start for this one. 428 clock running. Galbraith in the flat is the call. Sims goes near side. And he leads Tony astray as Tony was doubled up. And will be third down and nine for the Giants. The Giants are two for three on third down already. They'll go three wide. Manual at the bottom of your screen. The third receiver. Medium out. For Lionel Manuel is a call. Sims flushed. Rolls. Throws. And he had Manuel wide open. But it was not a good throw. And it just falls safely to the turf. As Jimmy Hoffa will wake up for a moment and roll back over in his dirt nap. Fourth and nine for the Giants. And for the first time today, we have a punt. It'll be Dave Jennings. He'll stand on a six. Dana McLemore will return it. McLemore driven back to his 33 over the 40. Hit for a return of eight. And San Francisco starts at their own 42. So, in real life stuff, we know what the American League Championship Series is going to be. Houston and the Red Sox. And I suppose you can't really be surprised that the Dodgers and Giants, after winning 107 regular season games, will play one for the right to host the Atlanta Braves. Craig in the flat. Far side, the Giants will sack him. 
very reasons. Joe Montana didn't see him coming, and reasons brings him down for a loss of seven. So second and 17. Here, a hockey fan last night was pretty good. I didn't catch any of the Seattle-Vegas game. I fell asleep. The Penguins disturbed um, Banner Night in Tampa. So what are we doing on second and 17 here? Tyler on the draw, handoff from Montana from the 35, 40, 45, 50 midfield, and Wendell Tyler makes the first down. Randy Cross, the right guard, opened up the seam, and that's a gain of 17. 2.43 to go, clock running in the first quarter, 17-7 Giants. Craig in the flat again. No, Montana's going to scramble, and he's going to get himself a first down. Keith Farnhorse said, follow me there, Sage One, and he did for a gain of 10. And the Giants, I mean the 49ers have it at the Giant 38. 1.56 clock running. Medium slant to Dwight Clark. Montana going to run again. This time he got a gain of three. So the F Giants are showing Montana all sorts of looks. And Joe is supposed to have tried five passes. He's only done two. He has scrambled three times for 15 yards. Second and seven for the 49ers at the Giant 35. 49ers in their gold helmets, silver face mask with the s &F white logo on the red shield and the white jerseys with the red numbers. And I wonder what those three stripes are on the forearm for them. The Giants, of course, in their big blue jerseys with the white numbers trimmed in red. Roger Craig. Trap right, second and seven. Montana hands off. Craig gets three. Mark Haynes makes the tackle. It'll be third and four for San Francisco. And the clock will run out. So after 15 minutes here at the Meadowlands, we've had ourselves a dandy so far. It's a giant 17, the 49ers 7. We'll be back after this. Well, we told you it was a rocky start for the 49ers, and we weren't kidding. Rob Carpenter, a 19-yard touchdown run. The cap a 10-play, 86-yard drive. The Giants doing what they do best, ground and pound. And then the 49ers couldn't hang on to the football. Following a Wendell Tyler fumble, Joe Morris ran in from 9 yards to make it 14-0. And then following a Roger Craig fumble, Ali Holly Aji Sheik, with a 30-yard field goal to make it 17 nothing, But San Francisco did what they do so well. Joe Montana found Freddie Solomon on a 68-yard medium pass. And Freddie, being the speedster, had 50 yards of that after the catch. 17-7. So surprisingly, the 49ers have outgained the Giants 108 to 107. And yep, Montana's perfect streak is now five quarters deep. Although he only threw the ball twice, he completed two, and one was for a touchdown. So third down and four for the 49ers as we start the second quarter. Earl Cooper on a medium slant. Montana is going to get sacked. George Martin brings him down 
for a loss of 10, and that pulls them out of Ray Wershing range. So the giant defense stepping up there. And Max Runniger will do a sideline punt for Phil McConkie. Runniger hits it too hard, and that will roll in the end zone. So the Giants start this drive from their own 20-yard line. 14-11 to go in the first half, 17-7 New York. Carpenter on a sweep to the right is the call. Carpenter over the 20, hit at the 21 by Fuller. It'll be second down. Galbraith in the flat. Sims on your side has time, but he doesn't have Tony. Third down. Sims two for eight for 35 yards, but the Giants have 17 points. You know a game is good when it can replicate maddening performances by quarterbacks you wished had stayed at Moorhead State. Just saying. Just saying. Third down and nine. Three receivers for the Giants. Sims will work out of the gun. Gray on a medium hitch. Sims has time, but he tried to find somebody. It was tipped by McCall. And Belcher, the center, dropped it. Remember, everyone's an eligible receiver once the defense touches it. So fourth and nine, and Sims is opening up at two for nine for 35 yards. That was an aqueduct. They would say he was ready for the glue factory. Dave Jennings to punt. McLemore to return it. McLemore behind his 40. McLemore over midfield. It's a return of 15, and the 49ers start on the giant half of the field at the 46. 13-18 to go in the half. Tyler on a screen. Montana waits, and that's the first incomplete pass in two games. Nope. That's a setting you can change, Dave. Are the player possessions on the squares new? Nope, that's been there for years. You can do... Where is it? You can do magic. Is it field display? Player display. You can do... Position, ratings, uniform, or initials. And I always just go with position. Ratings don't tell you much. You'd have to know who the ratings were. Uniform number, if they had them all, you could. But you'll resub. I appreciate that. Such a silly dude. Second and 10 for the 49ers on the Giant 46. Trap right to Roger Craig. Goes to the near side. Over the 40, the ball is loose. There's a flag down. It's New York ball right now. And the Giants held. I mean, the 49ers held. It was Cooper. And the Giants recover again. And so, again, the 49ers are playing with that butterball turkey. Three turnovers in this game. Harry Williams recovers it as Mark Haynes stripped it away. And so the 49ers have really struggled so far. First and 10 for the Giants. 12.58 and a half. They have it on their own 40. Carpenter. Off tackle left. Hand off. Gets around the block. Hit. By Ricky Ellison at the 43 for a gain of four, right? Three. I can add second and seven. The Giants are averaging nearly six yards a run. Morris sweeping right on second down. 
Morris kind of gets a block. Jeff Fuller gets credit for the tackle. Morris gets nothing. Third down and seven. Short slant for Zeke Moat. Sims rolls, throws to Wolfick. That's a complete pass, but it's a gain of three. And this time the turnover doesn't hurt San Francisco. As the Giants will be forced to punt on fourth and four. McLemore will return it. Jennings will punt it. McLemore backed up to his 10. Over the 20, 30, and it's a return of 18. Spot it at the 49er 29. 11.27 to go. I would not want to have to be the one that has to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning to watch the film session from this game if I am a disciple of Bill Walsh. Cooper on a medium fly. Montana is blitzed. He's got time. He tried to check it down to Craig, but Montana got nailed by Kenny Hill. Second and ten, Montana dusts himself off. Tyler on a draw, but somebody moved. False start. Offense, number 51. Randy Cross. Penalty. Repeat, second down. Moved and it'll be second and 15. Tyler on a screen is the call. Montana near side. Tyler has it 20, 30, first down 40. Tyler marches on. It's a 23 yard gain. Mark Haynes with a tackle, and the 49ers get a fresh set from their own 47. So Montana 3 of 5 for 97. And remember last week against the Falcons, a perfect game, 349 yards, 24 for 24 for five scores. First and 10 from the 47. Medium slant to Dwight Clark. Montana throws. Good coverage by Haynes, and Clark could not make the catch. Second down and 10. 10-23 in the first half. Craig. They will entrust him with the football again. Trap left. Craig. Oh, well, hold on to it. It's a gain of one. Harry Carson with the tackle. It'll be third and nine for San Francisco. Ronaldo Nehemiah comes in the game for the first time. He's up top with Dwight Clark. They go three wide. Tyler will block. Solomon on a medium slant. Montana better do something with this. He throws, and that is intercepted by Haynes. Mark Haynes, and returns at 21 yards. And the 49ers who usually have the discipline of a unit controlled by General Patton, have turned it over four times in the first 25 minutes or 20 minutes of this game. They're looking like the Keystone Cops out there. I'm not sure who Montana was trying to throw to. He threw it one way in the court. Mark Haynes went, oh, looky what I got. First and 10 from the San Francisco 46. Trap right from Rob Carpenter. Carpenter will get three before Todd Shell can make the tackle. Second and seven. They'll run it on second down. Morris on a sweep left. Morris near side over the 40, and he gets the Dave Gardner measurement. That's a first down. A gain of seven. Brad Benson, the left tackle with a block. And the Giants have it at the San Francisco 36. They lead by 10. 8.43 clock running here in the second quarter. 
Johnson on a medium cross. Sims has a flag down, throws, and that should have been picked off. Defense. Number 95, five yard But it penalty. was a free play as Reuben Carter made contact. No touchy touchy. We told you this. And it's a five yard penalty. First and five for the Giants on the San Francisco 31. 8 04 to go in the half. Morris will plunge ahead on the dive. Joel gets three. Ellison with a stop. Carpenter and Galbraith back in the game. Giants trying to tack on more to their 10-point lead, and they technically are in Haji Sheik range, although 45 is kind of his limit. Second and two. Carpenter trap left. Tries to find the block, gets the first down, gets a gain of four. Ricky Ellison's been busy. That's a seventh stop. First and ten for the Giants. I know Halloween is coming. I think it's a couple weeks away. But this one, so far for the 49ers, has been a house of horrors. It's the last time a Bill Walsh team turned the ball over four times in the first half. Galbraith in the flat. Sims. Rolls right. Goes deep for Gray, and that's six. Sims went for his third read and gets the touchdown. It's 23 to 7, New York. He wanted Carpenter in the flat. The 49ers ran a delayed blitz, and I wasn't sure what he was doing. Sims was running towards the far sideline. He looked over, and Ernest Gray was open. And Gray gets the touchdown. He beat the corner. JT Dutch, I'm doing well. How about you? Doing better than the 49ers. Haji Sheik with the extra point. And that's good. It sliced. It diced. But it stayed between the uprights. This one's a shocker. Six and a half to go in the second quarter. It's the Giants 24 the 49ers 7. So Monroe, Harmon, and McLemore to return it. And they won't as Haji Sheik puts it four yards deep. Montana wants Clark on a medium slant on first down. He's flushed. He throws. Clark has it first down. Dwight gets a gain of 19 before Mark Haynes, who already has one pick today, can make the tackle. First and 10 from the San Francisco 39, and this hasn't been anything but a treat for the Riceroni boys. Craig. Trap right on first and 10. Giants show blitz. Craig in the flat. They audible. Craig goes to the far side and is led astray. Second and ten. I've yet to see Lawrence Taylor out on the field. There'll be some articles in the papers if Lawrence doesn't get in this game. Tyler. Trap right. Second and ten. He's across the 40, 45, a gain of six. Carl Banks with a stop. Third and four for San Francisco. Earl Cooper. Short cross is the call. Montana throws. Cooper's got it. First down. Gain of 12. Elvis Patterson with a tackle. Montana read the blitz. Stepped around it and got the pass off. First and 10 from the Giant 43. San Francisco will get the football to start in the second half. But they really need something right now. Four plays, 37 yards, and 99 seconds off the clock. Trap left for Wendell Tyler. Tyler is hit at the 40 by Casey Merrill. First tackle for him. 
They'll give Tyler three, second and seven. Craig in the flat is the call. Far side, Montana. Lobs it over for Craig down the far sideline. First down, it's a gain of 13. Terry Kennard with a stop, and Craig has two catches for 19 yards. This looks a lot more like a typical 49er drive. First and 10. Clock running. Craig did not go out of bounds. Everybody has all three timeouts. Three and a half to go. This time he's going to go near side to Tyler. Wendell. Dropped it. Gary Reasons got his chest in there just as Tyler was trying to make the catch. And Wendell dropped it. Second and 10. 2.45 to go. Craig will sweep to the right. Near side. Craig gets a block. Gets over the 20. It's a gain of 8. Terry Kennard with a tackle. So third down and 2. And they will be able to get this playoff before the two-minute warning. From the Giant, 19. Medium cross to Dwight Clark. Five-step drop down to Tyler. That's caught. First down. And Harry Carson makes a tackle at the nine. A gain of 10. And after the two-minute warning, it'll be first and goal for the 49ers on the Giant, nine. Someone must have made some coffee on the sideline for the offense. You know, you never know. I mean, the great thing about action PC football, you never know what you're going to get. If you were to say to me what would have happened, if you had told me that one team would have had four turnovers and trouble scoring, I would have said it would have been the boys in blue, not the boys from California. Pullback dive for Craig from the nine. Craig moves the line along to the six. Robbie Jones makes the tackle. He's the other outside linebacker. Again, no Lawrence Taylor. Second and goal. Clock running. Pitch left to Tyler is the call. Tyler hopes to find a seam from the ten. Nope, he is stood up. For a loss of four by Harry Carson. So third and goal from the 10. They're not going to bring in Nehemiah. Solomon on a medium cross. Montana knows where he's going. Solomon has a touchdown. That is the ninth touchdown catch of the year for Freddie. His second of the ball game. And with 56 seconds to go, the Giants are going to try to make this a 10-point game. Uh, Brad S. Drive, 12 plays, 80 yards, and five and a half minutes. Here it is again. Solomon just beat the nickelback. They doubled him. Didn't matter. Worshing, 24-14. Yep. The Niners were beaten earlier this year in Philadelphia in a game that was 37-31. Was a 37-34. In a game that was not as well played as the score would indicate. That was a slop fest. San Francisco has made it look easy at times. They beat the, the Saints 20-3 in San Francisco. They pounded Atlanta 35-10, and I don't think it was even that close. But yet, they struggled against the Lions. They barely beat the Redskins. And the Giants have given them a whole bunch of trouble. New York plays for the return, and that will not be returned. And so 56 seconds, the Giants take over on their own 20. I'm going to try a long fly to Ernest Gray. Everybody has all three timeouts, 56 seconds to go. Sims gets rid of it. 
incomplete. Eric Wright got a hand on it. It'll be second and ten. So Sims has played, well, it's a Phil Sims game. He's four for 12, 62 yards, a score, and somehow they lead by 10. Carpenter. Trap left. This forced the Niners to burn a timeout. Carpenter gets a gain of five, and San Francisco will call time. Third and five from the 42. Sims out of the gun. Johnson on a medium slant. Sims waits. He's got time. He goes down to the sideline, and that should have been picked by Jeff Fuller. Wow. Dwayne Board hurried Sims into a bad pass. So the Giants will punt fourth and five, 32 seconds to go. In the half, Dave Jennings, wind is in his face. McLemore to return it. Jennings booms this one, and it will roll dead at the 34. 41-yard punt, no return, 25 seconds to go. And San Francisco will play for the half, I think. Right sweep for Bill Ring. Ring is hit for a loss of two. San Francisco looks over. The Giants are headed for the locker room. The 49ers are headed for the locker room. They get the football. You get a commercial. Our score at the end of the first half. It's the Giants 24. The 49ers 14. So, the 49ers, if you joined us late, have turned the ball over four times. Scoring in the second quarter, both teams have a touchdown. Phil Sims found Gray on a third read from 24 yards to make it 24-7 New York. And then Joe Montana found Freddie Solomon for the second time today in the end zone. Ray Wershing tacked on the extra point, and it's 24-14. 49ers now have outgained the Giants 206 to 160. First downs 10 9 in favor of the 49ers. Passing in favor of the 49ers. But those turnovers have been costly. Tomorrow, it'll be the Raiders and the Broncos. And a big one out in the AFC. Only one game for you next week. We're going to get a couple baseball games in. How about that? I, now I forget who I chose. <laughs> there wasn't much to choose from next week. I think it was an AFC game. Anywho. Back one more. Monroe from his 5 to the 20, 30, 35, 40. And Gary Reasons brings him down to 42. What a return from Monroe, and so San Francisco starts the second half from a short field. Clark on a long slant. They want to go for it right now. Montana's going to scramble. He is hit for a gain of one by Carl Banks. Second and nine for the 49ers. Tyler. Trap right. And off from Montana, and Tyler is brought down for no gain by Mark Haynes. San Francisco is four for six on third down. Ah, uh, well, 
this time of year, we take requests for baseball games. So what would you like to see? Third down and nine for San Francisco. Nehemiah comes in as the third receiver. He's up top. Montana out of the gun. And try for his tight end, Earl Cooper. Montana waits. Cooper, no, he goes to Clark instead. And Clark gets knocked out of bounds at the giant 45 for a gain of 12. So first and 10 for San Francisco on the giant 45. Trap right for Craig. Is the call Roger hit at the line of scrimmage by Byron Hunt? Second and ten. 49ers trail 24 14 early going third quarter at Giant Stadium. Clark. Nope. I want Cooper. Short cross to Earl Cooper. Montana goes to Clark instead. See, I should have gone there. And it's a first down. Terry Kennard turned his ankle, so they lose him. It'll be Williams instead. The Giants convert. I mean, the 49ers convert. You get me doing San Francisco, New York. You're a Giant. You're a Giant. It's kind of like watching Oprah. 49ers convert. They'll have it at the Giant 35. It'll be Montana, of course, as quarterback. Tyler and Craig in the backfield. Clark and Solomon, the wide receivers. Cooper, the tight end. Farnhorst and Paris, the tackles. Ayers and Cross, the guards. And Fred Quillen is the center. Defensively for the Giants, they're in a 3-4. Martin and McGriff, the ends. Jimbo Burt is the nose tackle. Banks and Hunt, the outside linebackers. Reasons and Carson, the middle linebackers. Haynes and Williams, the corner, Shaw and Hill, the safeties. First and ten. Craig in the flat is the call. Montana goes far side. Craig has it over the 30. He's got a first down. That's a gain of ten. And Gary Reasons makes the tackle. They keyed Tyler. And Craig made the catch instead. I thought about giving it to Tyler. Tyler will sweep to the right on the ground. Near sideline, gets a block. He gets to the 20 before Kenny Hill can make the stop. Second and five for the 49ers. I'd ask JT Touch who I think would win game five tomorrow night between the Dodgers and the Giants, but... Considering that he has L.A. and all of his avatars, we know he's rooting for San Francisco. Second down and five. Cooper. Short slant to the tight end. Giants showing blitz. Audible's a dive by Tyler instead. Wendell, that's a good call. Inside the 10. He pushes it to the 7. And that's a gain of 13. The F Giants were not going to blitz, but they weren't prepared for the dive either. JT Dutch says, I already know who will likely win that game, and it's not a happy thing to know. Well, I know it won't be the Tampa Bay Rays. First and goal from the seven. 49ers trying to cut this to a one-score game. Clark. Short cross from the seven. Montana has all day. Goes to Craig, and that's a touchdown. So the 49ers start the second half with a nine-play drive and six points. Here comes the extra point. Worshing barely makes it. Oof. oof the. It slices, it dices, but it stays in. 10.06 to go. Third quarter. It's the Giants 24, the 49ers 21. 
Remember, the Giants led 17-0 in this game. McConkey back deep. And seven yards deep, they'll just take a knee. So Phil Sims and company take over from their, at their own 20. Carpenter and Galbraith, the running backs. Gray and Johnson, the wide receivers. Zeke Moe at the tight end. Benson and Nelson, the guards, or tackles. Ard and Good, the guards. And Belcher is the center. We'll give you the 49er defense in a second. Carpenter off tackle left on first and 10. Rob moves the pile four yards. Carlton Williamson with a tackle. Board and Pillars, the ends for San Francisco. Carter, the nose tackle. Shell and Fuller, the outside linebackers. Farnhorst and Allison are the inside linebackers. Lott and Wright, the corners. Hicks and Williamson, the safeties. Second and six. Galbraith in the flat. Sims near side. He's got Tony at the 20. 25 30. First down. That's a gain of 10. Jeff Fuller with a tackle. Ball at the 34 of New York. Carpenter. Sweep near a far side. Carpenter 35 40. Into the secondary and a gain of 10. So Rob has had a magnificent year. 11 carries, 58 yards today. And the Giants have a fresh set from their own 44. Morris and Wolfwick in the game. Morris. Fullback dive. Hand off from Sims. And he goes forward for two. And there's 7.50 to go. Giants have run it 22 times for 114 yards. Moat on a short hitch on second and eight. Sims waits, throws, no. And Sims is five for 15 for 72 yards. And just in case you're wondering, no, it is Phil Sims. All Phil all the time. Third down and eight. Three wide receivers. It'll be Manuel, the third receiver. Sims out of the gun. Gray on a medium slant. Sims flushed, throws. He's got Gray. First down. Gray and Ronnie Lott are right there, and the Giants blocked the blitz. Sims got rid of the ball, and Gray makes his third catch of the game, this time for 17 yards. 7.01 clock running. Giants lead by a field goal. Ball at the San Francisco 37. Carpenter, sweep right, nope. Going to change that to a pass in the flat. Sims throws. Carpenter's got it. 40, 30, first down. He is brought down at the 19 by Big Dan Buns. What an audible for Phil Sims. He changed it to a pass. The, uh, the 49ers blitz two. They doubled Bobby Johnson, and it worked. And they are, I bet we don't have a long snapper. Oh, they're into the wind. Never mind. Morris will sweep it to the right. He stays out of the gun. Oopsie. Morris to the 15. Fuller makes a tackle at the 14. Nine carries, 46 yards for Joe. And the Giants have driven down to the San Francisco 14. Carpenter back in the backfield with Galbraith. Trap left for Carpenter on second and five. Rob finds a scene. He gets a first down. Todd Shell with a tackle. Brad Benson having a pretty good day. 
And the Giants have it first and goal from the San Francisco 8. Two tight end set. Malati joins Moat. Gray, the lone receiver. Sweep left for Carpenter is the call. Works it near side, and he stood up by Hacksaw Reynolds at the line of scrimmage. And we have an internet error left on the clock. Second in goal for the Giants. They've taken six minutes and two seconds off the clock. They go conventional. Morris. On a draw from the eight. The pendulum swings and he moves the pile down to the four-yard line. Carlton Williamson makes the stop. Morris, 10 carries, 50 yards. It'll be third and goal for the Giants on the 49er four-yard line. 3.22 to go. Giants trying to expand their three-point lead. Short cross to Moat is the call. Sims. Instead goes to Gray, and that's a touchdown. That's the second time today that Sims couldn't find his initial receiver. He knew where Gray was in the end zone, and Ernest pulled it down. The importance of being Ernest pays off again for the New York Giants. Here it is again. He looked, and Moak couldn't get out of his stance. But Gray was there, beat double coverage. Well, there was no double coverage that time. The first time it was. The Sheik gets the exclamation point. And once again, 2.41 to go in the third. Phil Sims, he's kind of like a box of Twinkies or Cher. You think you got him beat and he won't go away. I suppose being at the Halloween season, he's your own version of Jason Voorhees. Anyway, with 2.41 to go on the third, the Giants 31, the Niners 21. Carl Monroe from the five. 20, 30, and Carl Banks hits him at the 34. So let's see if San Francisco... It's kind of been a feast or famine day for the 49ers. They've turned it over four times and have three touchdowns. Trap right for Craig? Nope. Tyler in the flat. Del Alibo on first and 10. Montana goes to Tyler, and that is caught. Well, Jim Burt actually batted it up in the air. Tyler ducked and covered. He caught it for a loss of three, second and 13. Craig, off tackle right to the near side. Gained a bit of momentum. It's a gain of five, and it's third and eight. Robbie Jones with a tackle. There's Lawrence Taylor. Three wide. Tyler will block on third and eight. Nehemiah, medium slant, Montana, throws, Nehemiah has it, 45-yard line, or the 44, Kenny Daniel with a tackle, the Giants doubled Freddie Solomon, Nehemiah couldn't really show his speed there, but he showed good hands, And it's a fresh set from the Giant 44. A minute seven to go here. Clock running third quarter. Tyler. Trap right from the 44. Tyler is hit for a gain of two. Robbie Jones is there again. And the 49ers said, Ron, you need a drink and a commercial. And I said, thank you, my friend. 45 minutes in the book. The Giants 31, the 49ers 21. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this.
to join us late here. It's out with the scoring in the third quarter. Montana to Craig, a nine-play, 58-yard drive to make it 24-21. But in New York Giants 80s fashion, 12 plays, 80 yards, half the quarter. And Sims hit Ernest Gray on a second read, just like he did the first time on a longer drive. And it's a 10-point spread for the Giants as we head into the fourth quarter. That offense, 288 for San Francisco, 240 for the Giants. Montana, not perfect today, but still, Joe Montana like 14 for 20, 217 yards. Phil Sims had a magnificent third quarter. He's 8 for 18 overall and two scores, and that'll get it done. No turnovers in the third quarter. If you're wondering on third down, both teams are doing well. The 49ers 6 for 8, and the Giants are 4 for 9. Well, considering that yesterday was the first real game in Seattle Kraken history, I suppose Tuesday at noon, we could do Seattle at California from the Big A in Anaheim. The first game in Seattle pilot history. Noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, next Tuesday, right here on Retro Sports Network. So, second and eight for Montana. Tyler on a sweep right is the call. Montana hands off. Tyler gets a gain of one. Gary Reasons read that all the way. Thank you, my friend, for the bits. Kibbles and bits. So third down and seven. Clark on a short hit. They don't change formation. Montana to the throw. Clark's got it. It's a first down. Mark Haynes with a tackle. And that's a gain of nine. So first and ten from the Giant 30. As the clock runs inside 14 minutes. Craig. Off tackle right on first and 10 from the 30. He gets to the 25 before Kenny Hill can make the tackle. Montana looks to the sideline. Medium cross to Freddie Solomon, the call. Giants blitz. Montana rolls. Solomon scores. Three touchdown catches for Solomon. Three catches on the day. That's 10 on the year for Freddie, and it's a one-score game. The Giants doubled Earl Cooper, and Freddie Solomon is some kind of wonderful right now. My goodness, from Montana just found him. And Solomon could fall right in the end zone. So it's 31-27, New York. And Wershing makes it 31-28. Buckle up, boys. Let's see what the Giants do here. Wow. McConkey. That's an onside kick. And it's recovered by Derek Harmon, and it's San Francisco football. Remember, the 49ers were down 17 nothing. Yeah, I like the, how the computer does that, the onside kicks. And this has been a slugfest. Medium cross to Clark on first down. Montana can't find Craig, and that's incomplete. Carl Banks blitzed. San Francisco read that one all the way. Tyler. Trap left from the San Francisco 45. Wendell moves everyone forward three yards. Perry Williams, his first tackle. The Giants, are, I mean the 49ers, are seven for nine on third down. No change in formation. Short cross to Earl Cooper. Montana throws. Cooper's got it. First down. A gain of 11. 
So whatever they put in that chicken soup worked. First and 10 from the Giant 41, 11.36 to go. Craig. Off tackle right the call. Montana hands off. Craig over the 40, 35. And Byron Hunt with a tackle after a gain of seven. Bubba Paris, the right tackle with the big hole, second and three. 49ers won this game in real life. The only one they lost is the one that we're not going to show next week because they've already lost a game. Pittsburgh beat him at home. Why don't you remember that? Because some fellow by the name of Kirk Gibson was doing things in Detroit that afternoon. Tyler. Trap right. Second and short. Tyler. Gets the first down, a gain of five. Pete Shaw with a tackle. So first and ten from the Giant, 29. 10.08, clock running here in the third quarter, or the fourth quarter. As we hit the one o'clock hour here on the East Coast, my name is Ron Chuckett. Welcome to the program. Tonight on CBS, it's not a doubleheader day. 60 minutes, then murder. She wrote, followed by the Gary Awards. If your name is Gary, you get an award. That's all tonight on CBS. Long hitch to Solomon. They want to play pitch and catch again. Flag is down. And Montana Passing is hit. Defense. Number 23. Automatic. And, my, and the down. Giants, Perry Williams... Knowing that Freddie Solomon has pretty much stick him on his hands, pretty much French kissed him not to make that catch, and it'll be first and goal from the one. Only the second penalty today on the Giants. Two tight end set. Russ Francis joins Earl Cooper. Montana on a sneak. Montana gets the touchdown, and the 49ers, with 9.15 to go, take advantage of the onside kick and now lead the Giants 34-31. Bill Parcells will have some yelling to do. Worshing to make it a touchdown game. Yes, sir. So they get Terry Kennard back to the Giants, and boy, do they need him. 9.15 to go. Plenty of time left. 35-31 San Francisco. And they'll take a knee four yards deep. There's been some fireworks Galbraith off tackle right on first and 10. Ah. Tony hit at the line of scrimmage by Jim Farnhorst. Conrad Good to the right guard is not the starter. And he was badly beaten on the block. Nine to go. Clock running. Carpenter. Trap left. Sims gives to Carpenter. Rob gets four. Ricky Allison, nine tackles. Third and six for the Giants. Moat on a short cross. Sims. Blitz throws. Moat's got it. First down. Zeke to the 39. A gain of 15. Eric Wright with a tackle. Wolfick and Morris in the backfield now for the Giants. They have it at their own 39. No hurry here. It's a one-touchdown game. Trap right for Morris. Gets the ball, gets a block, gets three. Now good is hurt. And this is where the Fox sad music comes on because they put him on a cart. Jeff Fuller with his 10th tackle. And it will be Jordan. David Jordan, 
second and seven. It's not Michael. Clock stops 7.04 in the fourth quarter. 35-31, San Francisco. Wolfick in the flat. Sims, far side. Butch has got it. Can he get any yards? Yeah, first down and more. Gain of 10. Ricky Ellison with his 10th tackle of the ball game. 6.55 to go, clock running. Sims has now completed 50% of his passes. He's a weeble wobble back there. Johnson. Short cross on first and 10. Niners blitz. Sims has Johnson first down, 35. Carl Nelson is hurt. I think he got a case of turf elbow. And that stops the clock with 6.08 to go. First and 10 for the Giants on the San Francisco 34. First catch for Johnson on the game for 14 yards. Moat. Short slant. Sims tries to find him. He can't thread the needle. He do, but couldn't get there. Second and 10 for the Giants. With the wind behind them, they technically are in the field goal range. Sweep right for Carpenter. Far sideline, 30, first down, 20. He is knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line by Ronnie Lott. And Tony Galbraith just did what he had to do. Carpenter... One of the league leaders in rushing now has 90 yards on 15 carries. And with 5.50 to go, the Giants are driving. They're inside the 12-yard line. Carpenter again. Off tackle right. Sims and Carpenter gets 5. Ronnie Lott with a tackle. Spotted at the 7, second and 5. Call your friends. Say that the good fake football game has become really good. So the Giants. More rushing than passing for the Giants. Yep. That's not unusual. 163 yards on the ground. 150 in the air. And there's absolutely no hurry here for the Giants. And remember, they cannot go for two. Two tight end set from the seven. Carpenter on a trap left. And that will get him to the four. And it'll be third and two. So Carpenter now has 17 carries for 98 yards. He looks to Moat. Then he looks to Morris. Morris says, I want to draw. And they say, okay. San Francisco, nickel blitz. They jam the line. Hand off to Morris. And Joe is hit at the line for no gain. And I take it the Giants, you can take the cheap field goal and make it a one-point game. So what do you do? Do you take the field goal and hope you can stop Montana? Or do you go for it and hope your defense can do something? The crowd murmurs in anticipation. It's only three you're watching anyway. So shall we go or should we kick it? My temptation is to kick it. Take the points and hope that the Butterball Turkey returns for the 49ers. Yeah, you know what? They need two. This isn't a simple case of who we got that can get you two yards. Off tackle left gives me the best chance of getting it with Carpenter in a two-back set. I got a 72% chance. 
I think you got to go. I, it, you know, I think you got to force Montana to throw it. They go. They're going to go. It'll be Carpenter. Hand off. Does he have it? No. He's short. Carpenter gets his 100 yards. But the 49ers take over on their own two. Uh, you know, they'd have, they'd have to have gotten the ball back anyway. So at least here, you start you start them on their own two. Niners will go two tight ends. You got to run out of this from the two. Tyler, fullback dive. Giants are playing for it, and they bring him down at the one. Carl Banks got through the block, and Wendell Tyler loses a yard. Second and 11 from the San Francisco one. Craig, fullback dive. Montana from the end zone. Craig is stood up for no gain. And now what do you do for San Francisco? You're going to have to throw it, I would think. The defense, have they made something happen? Oh, you bet they have. Oh, my goodness. There are no... I don't know what the reason is. Taylor and Clark on third and 11 on a medium cross. Montana flushed, throws, no! And the giant defense has stood and delivered. With 2.15 to go, the 49ers are going to punt from their own end zone. Oh, what a defensive series for New York. And the middle lands is rocking. But Conkey to return it. Runniger by his own goal line on it by his own end line with a short field. But Conkey at his 35. <sighs> it will be returned for a gain of five. By, or, Carl Nelson's available. And the Giants take over with 209. Ball in hand. On the San Francisco 34. Wow. Carpenter. Sweep right. This will take us to the two minute warning. From the 34. Gets a block. He is out of bounds at the 30. And they can run it again. The 49ers blitzed and double Ernest Gray. Second and six from the 49er 30. Morris and Carpenter are in the backfield. Fullback die for Morris from the 30. Morris a block. It's three. And the clock will stop because Farnhorst is holding his wrist. And so the 49ers can't catch a break. It's third down and three. It's two down territory. A minute 56 to go. What a finish. My goodness. Gray on a medium slant. You can take a chance here on third down. And Phil Sims gets sacked for the first time. Lawrence Pillars brings him down, and now you gotta go. Fourth and 14. Here it is again. Bad blocking there by the Giants. They need 14. They go three wide. Sims. Medium slant. They'll go with Johnson. Sims, 
throws. No! Carlton Williamson tipped it. And now the Giant defense has to hold again. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Craig. Fullback dive. 49ers are going to make him burn some timeouts. Byron Hunt brings him down for a loss of one, second and 11. Tyler, sweeping right near side. Can he get any yards? He'll get to the sideline, and it's third and nine. The Giants get the stop. But Tyler made the mistake of going out of bounds, and so now the 49ers, I guess you play for the punt. Craig, dive play, make the Giants use the timeout, but he's not, oh, I thought he was going to get the first down. He doesn't. It's a gain of seven, Earl Cooper. So the Giants will get the ball back. San Francisco with a wind in their face. Runniger will punt from about, well, the ball is snapped at the 46, so he'll be at his 31. Regardless, the Giants need six. McConkey will try to return this. Runniger. From the 13, and he gets swarmed over for a loss of two. So, 47 seconds to go 89 yards with Phil Sims. And we're at the point where we're pretty much up to stranger things have happened. <laughs> Carpenter is in the block. Sims will work out of the gun. Gray on a medium out. Sims near sideline? No. Ronnie Lott nearly sealed this game away. He got a hand on it but couldn't keep it. Second and ten. 44 seconds to go. Johnson on a medium fly. Sims finds Johnson, but he can't get out of bounds. 35 seconds to go. Ball spotted at the Giant 25. They go hurry up. Out pattern. Johnson again, because I hit the wrong button. Sims goes near side to Manuel, and the clock will stop with 13 seconds to go. So, they need 75 yards. They've gotten 14. They'll go with manual on a medium slant, take the timeout, and hope. Sims <laughs> throws. Incomplete, but Mac Lamore... Defense. Number four commits the penalty. First down. And so now they're at the Giant 37. And so this is a heave and a hope time for the New York Giants. Eight seconds left. And in the immortal words of Vern Lundquist, they need an answered prayer. Bill Walsh is sipping on a pina colada on the sideline here because they have come to New York and gotten an escape, apparently. Here we go. Sims waits, waits, Throws to Mowat, and that's intercepted by Carlton Williamson, and I do like Pina Colada. And the Giants get caught in the rain. Joe Montana's not looking for health food, and my wife wants me just to play this last play so she can go to work. Maybe have some champagne. 
Montana will kneel. And this has been an escape from New York. There's a fourth down measurement. I mean, Sims went 12 for 27 for a buck 64. <sighs> Freddie Solomon, your player of the game. All three catches were for scores. That's pretty good. Rob Carpenter had a tremendous game. 19 carries, 104 yards for the Giants. Ernest Gray had two touchdown catches. The, the winning score came with 9-15. How could you tell as a Giants fan my love for Phil Simms? Montana with a winning score at 9-15 to go. I'll still get thumbs down on YouTube, I'm sure. A one-yard plunge from Montana to make it 35-31. And they trailed 17 nothing, But it was the first quarter in San Francisco. Just do what they normally do. Just steady football. And did the job. The one turnover for the Giants came at the end. So San Francisco survives four turnovers. Good is out seven weeks. Farnhorst out two. Taylor did not get a tackle. Jeff Fuller, 11 tackles. Ricky Ellison with 10. Haynes with that interception to set up an Ozzy Sheik field goal. And with zero drop passes. Yep, yeah, that's all. That's my boy, Phil. Uh, final score. Uh, dandy here at the Meadowland. San Francisco goes to 5 and 1. They beat the Giants, who fall to 3-3, three and 35-31. Three, Tomorrow, it'll be the Raiders and the Seahawks. And so we'll catch you for that, 11.45 Eastern, 8.45 Pacific. We'll talk to you then. Have a good day, everybody.